Referred to as the birthplace of naval aviation, the United States Naval Base at Coronado Island in San Diego, California provides a shore-based platform for numerous squadrons and commands. These include 16 helicopter squadrons, two fixed-wing squadrons, two aircraft carriers, and four SEAL teams, along with many other air, surface, and subsurface commands. The huge base is also home to the Fleet Readiness Center Southwest, or FRCSW, which overhauls, repairs, and modifies Navy and Marine Corps frontline tactical, logistical, and rotary wing aircraft and their components. FRCSW's aircraft repair programs include F-A-18 Hornets, E-2 Hawkeye Early Warning Aircraft, Marine Corps AH-1 Cobra Attack Helicopters, CH-53 Sea Stallion Heavy Lift Helicopters, and AV-8B Harriers, as well as numerous others. The FRCSW's Components Program has the capability to repair nearly 12,000 unique components. However, until recently, the command has faced difficulties in having to reverse engineer components for the aging F-A-18 Hornet carrier-based fighter jets. The problems stem from delays in the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter Program. The F-35 is supposed to replace the F-18, but it's behind schedule. As a result, the F-18 has been flown longer and in more combat missions than it was designed to handle. Considering the huge price for a new F-18, the Navy elected to repair and rebuild wherever possible, and that's the responsibility of the Fleet Readiness Center. Originally designed and built by McDonnell Douglas, the F-18 was transferred to Boeing when it acquired Douglas. Unfortunately, many of the changes made on the floor at Douglas never made it into the drawings. As a result, the Fleet Readiness Center had to find a way to build parts with drawings that were missing or out of date. To compound the problem, no one at the base was current on the latest 3D modeling techniques. To address the reverse engineering problem, in 2010, FRCSW developed what the facility calls the 3MS system, which is designed to ensure that a model of a part developed in engineering can be certified. The acronym stands for Manufacturing Model Management System, which is the system now used to produce 3D models to become certified for release to manufacturing. Traditionally, a blueprint is given to a CAD or CAM operator who then creates a 3D model and uses it to produce the part. The problem is, the part is only as good as the model. If the model is correct, the part is correct, and if the model is wrong, so is the part. Unfortunately, there are no checks in place to prove the model is correct before producing the part. With aviators' lives at stake, that can't be left to chance. FRCSW has to know the model they're using is correct. In the 3MS workflow, once the team knows they have the right drawing for the part being reproduced, an aerospace or design group engineer creates a 3D model. Many of the drawings are old, faded, and hard to read, so the engineer makes a best effort to get the model correct. The model and the original or donor part are then given to the Advanced Measurement Systems and Reverse Engineering Lab. The lab uses Verisurf to scan the exemplar part and check the accuracy of the model by comparing it to the scanned point cloud. 3D model verification is one of the lab's main uses for Verisurf. Traditionally, companies use Verisurf to compare machined parts to a CAD model to check the accuracy of the part because in that case the model is the reference. For the lab, the physical part is the reference because that's what they have to reproduce. Using Verisurf analysis, the measurement lab produces a deviation map showing where the model differs from the part. If there's something wrong, the 3D model goes back to the engineering group. The engineers either correct the problem or investigate the source of the deviation. In some cases, it turns out the drawings never matched the physical part when it was manufactured 30 years prior. The process is repeated until the deviations are eliminated. Once the model is certified correct, it's sent to manufacturing for production and is archived for future use. As the name suggests, the Advanced Measurement Systems and Reverse Engineering Lab employs a variety of metrology hardware, including Romer and Ferro Portable Arm CMMs, Leica and API Laser Trackers, and a Brown and Sharp CMM, among a growing list of devices. The lab's assortment of measurement hardware reflects their belief in the importance of using the right device for each data collection task, but they also believe that what you do with that data is crucial. The ability to compare a point cloud to a 3D model is a powerful capability, and that's where they believe Verisurf really shines. The lab values Verisurf for a number of reasons. The interface is easy to use and to teach, so Verisurf is used to train their engineers and shop employees. The history of Verisurf shows that it was designed with the machinist in mind. It introduces metrology in a way that's easily understood. 
Because Verisurf supports virtually all 3D metrology hardware, it provides the lab with a common platform for their assorted measuring devices. This use of a common interface further reduces training requirements. Verisurf's MBD allows the lab to add model-based definition to a model so they can define the geometric tolerancing on their models prior to comparison or inspection. Finally, the lab appreciates that the software runs on top of Mastercam design. This gives Verisurf the power of a full CAD system, but all the operator sees is the Verisurf interface. For the lab, the bottom line is simple. In trying to implement 3D metrology into the Navy system efficiently and effectively, Verisurf has provided great assistance. The goal is to keep the aircraft flying, and Verisurf is a big part of the solution. To learn more about how Verisurf can help you achieve your manufacturing quality goals, please call us at 888-713-7201 or email us at sales at verisurf.com.